Okay, so Persona 3 Portable was made for the PSP, but you can't fit a PS2 game on the PSP, so the entire game, with the exception of the dungeons and battles, was redone in the style of a visual novel. I hate it, but more on that later. You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. This is Japan. There are no guns for self-defense. Did you see that shit that killed Shinzo Abe? That was built out of grit, spit, spite, and the Japanese dream. Listen, I don't want to spend the entire video complaining, so I'll just address this right now. I'm playing the remaster of this game, quote unquote. And by remaster, I mean that they just sent all the textures through an upscaler and called it a day. Now, this is not uncommon for Atlas. They did the same thing for the Persona 5 port, and uh, it's only really noticeable on some of the text used in the backgrounds, particularly the subway. But look at how the radiator blends together. Or how the pattern on the towel merges. How the calendar above your bed is just incomprehensible. Or how the clicker on top of your TV is just it's all blending together. The game looks absolutely abysmal. I'll try not to talk about it any more than I already have. <laughs> this is what you get for eating road tar. Wait, take this, just in case. Oh, well, that's funny. I had to max her S-Link in the original before I got her strap. Here goes. Are you okay, Yukari? <laughs> You're sounding a little bit crushed. We're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. How is C's registered as a school club. What does the school think that the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad does? Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. He's like the poster boy for sexual harassment. Gee, Yukari, tell me how you really feel. It seems to have multiple weaknesses. Oh my god, look at the wind and fire. They couldn't even get the elemental icons correct. Hell yeah, my favorite Beatles album. I feel a strong presence. It must be death. Don't be stupid. Ryoji's not supposed to show up for several months. See ya, loser. Ah, oh, he got Yukari. Well, it's her or us, Junpei. Don't feel guilty, she'd make the same choice. I don't particularly like the visual novel approach to this game. But it is nice how easy it is to hammer through S-Links that you've already seen. About to speedrun my friendship with the shithead from Student Council. Hidetoshi, any percent. No smoking route. Give me some time, Junpei. I'll have my own personal harem by the end of the year. And you're not gonna be a part of it. Just because you said that. Yep, he knows who to count on. He only asked you because you don't have anything else to do after school. Get his ass, Yukari. Never mind. Who was that? If all goes according to plan, that was my future boyfriend. Here's our chance for an all out attack! I love how blank and dead eyed Katone's all out attack portrait is. Looking more lifeless than the actual robot in the game. Junpei, you really don't need to convince me. I was already going to date Akihiko. He's bad with girls and probably super ripped under that sweater vest. I'm gonna do a couple rounds of tongue boxing whether you told me to or not. Guess it's pretty much decided that you're our leader, huh? Even when I'm the only guy in the group. In the original game, Junpei didn't really get along with you because he was jealous. And in the female route, it's because he's a misogynist. Which I actually really like, because it gives him more growth over the course of the game. I think it would be very funny if they dial up the casual sexism in the remake. Somehow I don't think they will. The enemy's weakness is ice. Use Bufu. 
Thank you, Misuru. Not sure if you saw, but I just learned that that enemy is null to fire damage. You wanna grab a bite to eat? I'm freaking hungry. Uh, I hate to break it to you, Junpei, but girls usually don't get hungry in the middle of the night. That's a lie. I have watched women eat entire pizzas by themselves after midnight. I've seen cakes demolished at the wee hours of the night. I went to went over to a girl's house to watch all the Lord of the Rings movies in a row, and she finished a Costco-sized box of fruit roll-ups by herself before the intermission in the two towers. Show some respect to women that are absolute gremlins, Yukari. <laughs> oh man, I'm always thinking the same thing. Yow, retract those claws, ladies. I'll admit, the female road of this game does appeal to me because I can kiss a lot of people and tell Junpei when he's being stupid. If the game let me do that as Makoto too, it would be a much better game. It's 8 degrees Celsius. Of course I can. Okay. Theo was lying about knowing what the purpose of a fountain is. Why are we believing that he knows the temperature like that? He could be lying. We can't just accept everything he says because he's hot. That's not scientific. Like, it was the end of the world. What is the point of letterboxing this scene if it's not going to apply to the portraits? Why do that? At that distance, I'm surprised that Yukari didn't still somehow miss. That's a rare form. Teach it a lesson. Wow, I'm really glad it was Yukari who hit him. Okay, I actually am glad now. I take it back. Got you now. That's a rare form. Teach it a lesson. And he's All gone. Right. Continue with the investigation. Thanks for the fighting chance, Persona 3. That's not fair. Junpei has been a dick specifically because I'm a girl. And I'm a white dude. I'm not supposed to feel this type of discrimination. Why is it just universally known that Kenji is into girls who aren't his age? Why does everyone know this? Is he that vocal about it? Whoa. That's a line that's not going to be in the remake. Set to go. An explosive? <laughs> All right. I'll let you handle this. The faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? If so, then expect to be severely punished. Mitsuru, you were okay with the idea of bombing the school to get in. Why is cheating on your test the line that you won't cross? You know, I actually like that they rewrote Fuka's S-Link, so that her issues with cooking are just that she doesn't understand how to follow the cooking instructions. The fact that she's trying and failing is a lot better than the idea that she was just sort of throwing shit at the wall and seeing what stuck. 97 degrees Fahrenheit. And this texture, there's no mistaking it. Maybe Theo wasn't lying about the water temperature earlier. Maybe that's just something he can do. You still shouldn't trust someone only because they're hot though. Uh, maybe not in the way that you're thinking, but yeah, that's what they wanted. I never really thought about it, but it's nice that Gekku Ken High exists inside a void made up of Sonic the Hedgehog background patterns. Why does everyone think that I'm dating Junpei? He's like the only guy in Gekku Ken High that I don't want to date. Him and Kenji. And Bebe. And Kazushi. And Nozomi. And Ken. Maybe my list is longer than I thought. The point is, I'm not dating Junpei. Stop it, Persona. 
you're not supposed to think about pancakes for a couple more years. Nothing. I would have done nothing. Because I'd be dead. What kind of question is that? To finish it off. Why is it that Fuka's reports come in blank on mini-bosses, when I've already hit the weaknesses or elements that do null damage? You couldn't at least write those down? Don't just hand in blank homework, Fuka. What are you doing down there? Pay attention. The one time that Yukari hits her shot, and it's on an enemy with Pierce counter. Jesus Christ. I can't escape Kenji, even in the female route. Okay, maybe Yukari ain't that bad. Hey, it's your turn next. Honestly, I didn't think that they'd change this section for the female route. I was still kind of hoping it would be Yukari, but I can work with this. Oh no, the music stopped. That's how you know things are about to get serious. Don't mind me, just gonna skip through Since all this I'm story doing... content that I've already seen. Which is the best feature that this game has. Oh. I'm speedrunning right to Nyx's doorstep. <laughs> Skipping over all that story. Skipping straight to the last page of the book. It's good to see you again. Theros, if you're gonna wake me up in the middle of the night, could you at least do it as Ryoji? If someone walks in, I don't want to explain why there's a child in my room. Wow, so many tropical plants. Huh. Take a look at that one. <sighs> hmm. Sorry, Fuka, but it seems like neither Yukari or Mitsuru give a shit about your tropical plants. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. You know, I was really hoping that the female route would skip Operation Babe Hunt, uh, because I'm the babe in this scenario. But I can't escape it, no matter what I do. However, it is outside of Tartarus. Oh, this is just Koromaru joining the team. Skip. Do my ears deceive me? Why this song, game? Are you trying to remind me of a better Persona game? Portable, what did I just ask you? So far, all this section has done is make me wish that I skipped this to play 4. Also, you can't see it but I just sort of reflexively started dancing when the song came on. That's just the effect it has on me. Okay, I actually really like this weird cul-de-sac that we've gone into here about Yuko's relationship with Kazushi, because A, it's cute, and B, it's what I talked about in Fess, how like seeing all these characters interact outside of your S-Links creates a more lived-in world. More of this, please, Portable. You know, sometimes Yukari misses and I get mad. But I think that so far in this game, she has hit more crits than anyone else on the team. So keep it up, Yukari. You are slowly redeeming yourself. Don't have enough disk space to add in all the parts of the map that people actually care about. But, uh, yeah, we can add in that underground bunker that everyone forgets about. Why am I sensing two entities? It doesn't make sense. Oh, Fuka. We love her, but she's not that bright. Alright, we're doing the sun again. And I promise I'm not gonna cry this time. Hold on. I'm trying to think if there's anyone hotter I can go with. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah, you're the best I can do. I'm down. Ninja movies? No, I want to show, I guess, a bunch of movies that mess with her as a robot specifically. Show her 
uh, AI, Ex Machina, and Blade Runner just burn out her circuits. Ah, shit. No, you can't defeat it. Run! Already on it, Fuka. Don't need to tell me twice. Don't, Yukari, please. Five damage. I don't know why I was worried. Yukari sucks at dealing damage even if she hits you. Man, this song does not fit this facial expression. This isn't Changing Seasons. What have you done with Changing Seasons? Is it okay? Can I talk to it? Put Changing Seasons on the phone. Okay, you know what? I'm turning around on this track. This bangs. Listen, I know that my notes say not to take Yukari on this fight, and I learned why not to in Fess, uh, but I refuse to learn from my mistakes, so she's on the team. Man, we struggle to fight one demon at a time sometimes. Why would you want to take on three at once? Speaking of which, what are you, Shinji, and Mitsuru up to after school? I stand by Fess uh, being the definitive way to experience Persona 3, but it is kind of crazy that Shinji's S-Link only exists in Portable, because this is making me like him a lot more than anything in Fess. If I didn't already know that he dies, his death might have a little more impact if I had seen this. I don't know why I bothered telling Fuka to do an analysis, when it's just gonna come back blank. The enemy. Gee, thanks Fuka, you're a real tentpole of the team. He hasn't changed at all from back then. He's stupid, honest, proud, kind, and a crybaby. Please, he, you don't need to sell him on me. He's already in my crosshairs. My multi-barreled crosshairs. Oh no. The game has given me the ability to nuke my relationship with this girl. And I'd be lying if I said I'm not considering it, because it would be funny. Get ready for some deja vu. One crit. The enemy's tired. Two crit. Never mind, Yukari ruined it. One crit again. Ah, come on. All right. Now. Let's go, baby. I'm the master gambler. Let's carry this streak. I'm going to put all my money on an eight-way parlay later. What could go wrong? The loss of Chidori has posed a bit of a challenge for us, but we cannot simply ignore your meddling. Man, talk about scenes that didn't translate to a visual novel format well. Look at his little stupid gun. That's so funny. Thank goodness all these questions and answers are the same every time. Because if you think that I'm going to treat these like actual tests and like take notes when the game tells me to and study, then you're crazy. I don't care, I'm still sending them out. Please spread out and Wow, that proved to be such a wrench in the gears. What a hindrance that dark room was. Really lost my way there. I don't think I even talked okay. about it in my fast video, but if you don't move when you go to a new floor, then the shadows won't spawn in. So Please you can just go to a floor the and then split up the party until they find the stairs and skip straight to the next floor. Uh, and you can basically skip all of Tartarus like this. It's not the best way to explore Tartarus, but at a certain point in the year, you just stop caring. 
I like that you inform Yuko about the whole Ryo and Kenji situation, and this is the face she makes. Like, really? Kenji? That's the correct reaction to that information, by the way. Um, so... <sighs> What's with all the stuttering? Just kiss me, dumbass. Stop beating around the bush. Punch me on the mouth with yours. This isn't hard. Wow, look at all this story that I get to just skip right over. Burn my dread more like burn through this story, because I already saw it done better several times. That's right, I'm counting Fess, the movies, and the manga. There was a brief period where I thought the visual novel format of this was cute, and that period is over. I am tired of playing portable. I just want to play a real Persona game again. <laughs> Sorry, Portable. Joke's on you, Akinari. I can't cry at your S-Link if I skip it all. Okay, listen. I know that it's weird because Ryoji is actually the little boy who would show up at midnight to give me creepy omens, but Katone doesn't know that yet. And until she knows that, I'm going to do everything in my power to kiss Ryoji. And none of you can stop me. Because this video is previously recorded. Did he just call me a hag? Even the game can't believe it. Ken, I know that he's your classmate, but he has to die now. I can't even fault you, man. That's how I've been going about things, too. They seem pretty busy with the class trip and all. You know what? I am cautiously optimistic about the class trip in the female row. There's no way that the hot springs can be worse than they are in the male row, right? Watch yourself around this guy, okay, leader? He'll go after any girl with a pulse. Oh, so he's a persona protagonist. What's the matter, Yukari? Did you see something? Did you hear that just now? It's the same. The hot spring scene hasn't changed. We're just on the opposite side this time. This is only marginally better. Why? Why won't you leave me alone? You started this fight, I just showed up. Chidori, please. I've already seen this. I just want to see the what? Takaya gun sprite again. So there you. What the? You. You. I. You. You know. Look out, Junpei! Yeah, it's so bad. I'm a big fan of these later Tartarus levels, where the general vibe is that of an uh, '80s glow-in-the-dark bowling alley carpet. Eliminated. Don't do it, Akihiko. I warned you. The next page, and the next. Every page is devoted to Junpei. Man, this scene really doesn't work if you can't see the sketchbook. We've gotten to that fun part of every Persona playthrough, where you run out of things to do with your links, so you just kind of go home and immediately go to sleep. Which is exactly what I did in high school too. I knew there was a real reason. Well, Fuka, welcome to the harem. Oh, shoot. I can't use Igis because she's still getting repaired. After careful consideration, the dog will do. Not that much difference between a puppy and a robot anyway, right? The, the one pisses itself and the other's a dog. Wait, I moved too fast. Was that a spelling error? I think they spelled yourself wrong. I just watched the footage back and they totally spelled it wrong. Sick high quality remaster guys. Phenomenal work. Oh man, I completely overslept. Why'd I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon women running around in the jungle. Man, the god of death sends a messenger to tell seas to cherish their last month alive and uh, not waste the valuable time left, and Junpei is just like, 
Ah, uh, that's cool. I'm gonna watch some 60s uh, Ray Harryhausen Sinbad movies. I love Junpei. I'd probably do the same, actually. No matter how many times I play this game, the music change is always gonna hit like a truck. It's foreboding and depressing, but there's also a sort of hopeful lilt to it. I can't wait to see what they do in the remake, because I'm 90% sure I'm going to cry. I actually think it's really funny that they didn't change the music for walking Koromaru or meeting people at lunchtime, because you're busy taking in the sad beauty of living with determination, and all of a sudden you're interrupted by this upbeat, wacky music that really does not match the apocalyptic vibe outside the school. Oh. The one time that Yukari hits the enemy and she hits them so hard that the game crashes and closes. Thanks, Yukari. That's arguably worse than just not hitting the enemy. For God's sakes, she did it again. I always thought that the Judgment Arcana should have been, uh, a, like, a game-long thing. Like, it should have leveled up every time you finished a block of Tartarus or something. Because it just feels kind of useless in the late game. Like, they forgot about Judgment at the last moment, we're like, Ah, shit, we never wrote an actual link for that one. Everyone's favorite part of the Persona experience. Constantly refreshing your cross fusions until you get the move set you want. If you choose the first one that comes up, you're a crazy person. What are you doing, man? I really want this guy to cast Infuriate again so my party can just kill him via auto battle. That was funny. Please be there, please be there, please be there. Oh. I was really worried that I'd botched my schedule and wouldn't be able to finish all the links, but, uh... I did it. With one day to spare. Alright, I've done it all. Time to actually finish the game. This is it! I ain't holding back! I want you to remember that you said that, because now I won't either. <laughs> you think you're tough? I won't lose this time. Cool story, all-out attack. Again. What's wrong, buddy? I thought we weren't holding back. Will you still face me? There must be trembling in your hearts. Yeah, of course I'm scared. Junpei should be scared. He's still like level 19. If I brought him into this fight, he'd be squished like an ant under a road roller. Literal coughing baby versus hydrogen bomb. Nix's Arcana changed to the Magician? Be careful, its properties have changed. Your reports never tell me if boss weaknesses and strengths have changed anyway, Fuka. This isn't helpful. It changed properties again. If you need me to analyze it, just say the word. You know what, Fuka? Fine. I'll ask for your report. I won't miss. <clears throat> Watch it. Light won't work on the enemy. Fuka. It's the last boss. Why are you only now giving me reports on bosses that have actual info? Why are you like this? My goal for this Nyx fight is to kill it before it can even summon Moonless Gown once. You cannot avoid death. To live is to die. They are one and the same. It's useless. Come on. Thank you, Nyx. That's exactly what I wanted. It's useless. Why? It's useless. How many moonless gowns do you have in you, man? I try casting moonless gown now, you prick. 
and eventually, Hitone stopped thinking. Nope, you're not getting me this time. Can't cry if I can't read it. Don't worry. I'll always protect you. Wow, that ending does not have the same impact as Fess's. Congratulations, Persona 3 Portable. You never got me to cry. That's more of a feat than getting me to cry. I have previously mentioned my love for the Persona games, just a little bit. Three in particular is my favorite. Uh, it has my favorite look, my favorite art design, a lot of my favorite moments and characters. And I think that Port Island has an atmosphere that Sumeru, Inaba, and Tokyo just don't have. Especially in the later third of the game. And I personally believe Persona 3 Portable is lacking in all of those aspects. Let's be clear, uh, the new social links are infinitely better than the ones in FES. I mean, I've rambled about how Persona 3 already makes Gekken feel like a lived-in community, but I think that Ryo and Sayori's links really add a lot to the personality of the school. And it's kind of crazy in retrospect how little time you get to spend with Ken, Koromaru, Shinji, hell, all the boys on your team. But the visual novel approach just doesn't work for me, especially when everything looks so ugly and muddled with the texture upscaling. So, P3P isn't without its merits. I do really like Katone, uh, but I'm never playing this again. <laughs>